Hey, this is JNM with a new EV, rendering and animation tutorial and it also covers hair dynamics and soft body physics. Here's the scene in Blender 2.90, I have a point light, a sunlight and an area light and the simple kind of blade that acts as a collider for the falling hairball. I'm using EV as renderer, I activated ambient occlusion, bloom and motion blur and the style of the hair are set to strip. By the way, if you haven't seen my tutorial on how to create hair with Blender, the link can be found in the description below and in the end screen. You see this is a simple object and I used a principal shader for this with a blue color. Very basic stuff but I will upload the scene to my web page so you can get it from there. Ok, but now let's have a look at the ball, at the sphere. It uses a principal shader as well with a red color but it has particles attached for the hair. And it uses soft body physics. So let's see what happens when I start the timeline, the ball is falling then colliding with the plate, it is bouncing and deforming and the hair has this dynamic behavior. The collider, the plate is rotating then and you don't have to animate the ball, it just reacts when the collider is changing the position and the rotation. This is a normal behavior simulating physics and gravity. Ok, so let me break this down so that you can see how it can be done. Ok, first let's have a look at the rendering, here the render tab, you see I'm rendering a square output, good for uploading for instance to Instagram. I render to this directory as an FFmpeg video. A safer approach is to render as images and then create the movie from it, but for this short animation it's alright in my opinion. I render as an MPEG-4 and also increase the quality a bit. And you see this here through the camera because I pressed the zero key on the numpad to get this view. Ok, now let's recreate the ball behavior. I removed the physics so that we can create it again. First I switch to the particle properties. The particle system is still set to hair but what you have to enable is the hair dynamics checkbox. When it is falling down, we need to check this to simulate the physics for the hair as well. And this is the only thing that I modified for the particles. The hair is just a copy from the previous tutorial. But what I added, you can see this here when I go to the physics properties, is a soft body physics. But when I start this now, the ball isn't falling. It shows some weird behavior. To let it fall we have to uncheck the goal checkbox because it pins the vertices. And I also set some properties here to increase the stiffness of the ball and the bending so that it isn't collapsing when it enters the collider. I set pull and push to 0.8 but I recommend to play around with these values, I don't say that these are the best, they just worked for me. And the bending I set to 10. And when I start again now, the ball is falling at least, but the hair isn't following. It looks interesting, but it's not what we wanted. And I have to say I struggled with this, but finally I found the solution. You have to go to the modifiers tab. And here you have to make sure that the particle system is below the soft body physics. You see I'm in Blender 2.90, I have this drag and drop of the modifier stack. In Blender 2.8 you have to use the arrows, but anyway it works, the ball is falling with the hair. And that's basically all you have to set, but don't forget to add the collider to the plate. I already added this but I remove it now so that we can add it again and I'll show you the settings that I made. Ok, so press the button to add the collision. And I also increase the value of the outer thickness because otherwise the ball is moving in my opinion too much into the object. I think the default value is 0.001. 
Yes, but that's too low, at least for this use case. Ok, and that's it, now we can render the movie, I press Ctrl F12 and of course I will speed this up for you or I will continue when it is completely rendered. And here we go and we can open the movie. Ok, a last thing, I mentioned that I added the motion blur effect and I want to show you how it looks like with and without the effect. Ok, now I remove it and press F12 to render a still image. And this looks nice but not natural because the ball is falling. And now I enable the motion blur again. You can play with these values for the shutter and the maximum blur. And with my settings I would say it looks quite realistic. Oh, and before I forget this, for the shadows to get a good quality, you should increase them to a very high size. And also enable soft shadows. So that's it again for this tutorial. If you like it, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. Follow me on my social media, on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And I see you in the next one here on JNM.